Hey, what's going on guys? The Shrugnator here, and today what I have for you guys is another Black Ops 3 video. This time, guys, it is going to be the first episode of Nuclear with Every Gun on Black Ops 3. That's right, guys, we're starting up this series again. We did it on Advanced Warfare, we did it on Black Ops 2, we did it on Ghost, we're gonna do it on BO3. And that series is Nuclear with Every Gun. Now, this first episode is going to be the CUDA SMG, and this is actually the first nuclear I have gotten in Call of Duty Black Ops 3 now that the game is actually out. I did get a few during the beta, but this is the first one that the actual game is out. So, essentially, the format for all of these Nuclear with Every Gun videos is going to be kind of the same. I'll spend a little bit of time talking about the actual gun itself and what I think about it and whether you guys should use it or not. I'll probably link you to a class setup I've made with it if I have one already. If I don't, I'll probably make one in the near future and then link it then. And then I'll ask you guys to let me know what gun you want to see next on this nuclear with every gun. You guys will leave comments below letting me know what guns you are most excited to see and I will definitely go for those. Before we get into the meat of this commentary, please be sure to drop a like. Let's see if we can hit 50 likes for my first nuclear on Black Ops 3 and the first episode of nuclear with every gun. Hopefully we can get some good luck for another good year this year. I know we finished Advanced Warfare's DNA bomb with every gun. Hopefully we can do it again this year. All right, guys, so the CUDA SMG is the first SMG you unlock. I believe I'm using extended mags, long barrel, and grip, and it is a very, very good SMG, surprisingly so, given that it's the first one you unlock. In my opinion, it's actually probably the best SMG out of all of them. I mean, I can't really think of another one off the top of my head that would be better. Maybe the Razorback, but the fire rate on that's not as good as it was in the beta, so I'm not too sure. I think the CUDA would be one of my favorite SMGs in this game. So if you guys want to try out the CUDA, I will link my best class setup somewhere on the screen here. I probably already linked it for a while, so make sure you can go click on that and check out that video as well to see what the best class is to use for the CUDA. I believe I'm using the same one in this gameplay. Now, as far as my sort of initial opinions on Black Ops 3 actually go, I figure I should talk about this a little bit, given that this is the first sort of gameplay I've really gotten on the actual game after the beta. Now that we're in the real game, it's a little bit different than it was in the beta. In my opinion right now, it's pretty hard to get gameplays, especially compared to the beta. I mean, people in the beta were dropping gameplays left, right, and center, including myself, but now the game's come out, people are having a little bit of a tough time getting nuclears. But then again, the game's barely been out for three, four, five days here, so hopefully in the near future, we'll probably see some insane gameplay already. I'm counting down the days basically until the first double nuclear and then the first 200 plus after that. Shouldn't be too too long before we see one of those. One thing I am interested in guys is knowing what kind of gameplays you guys would like to see from me. Do you care more about nuclears and double nuclears and sort of non-lethal gameplay or would you like to see more like 100 pluses, 150 pluses, maybe even 200 pluses on this game? You know, I've used the assault streaks a little bit with sort of the wraith and the wraps and such and they're okay. I think they're very very inconsistent though. We'll make it really difficult to actually get a 200 plus. If only because the kill streaks are so inconsistent. I mean sometimes you can call in the wraps on even Nuketown and they won't get a single kill, but sometimes you can call them and they'll go absolutely off. It's pretty much a toss up in this game, depending on if the enemies decide to shoot your stuff down or not. And since, you know, V-Stats can be shot down, things like that, it is a little bit different than Black Ops 2, but I imagine it'll probably be around the same. Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to drop a like, subscribe if you're new. My name is Destructinator, and I'll see you guys later.